So 400 grams of plain flour, 250 grams of butter, salted and salted, it doesn't really matter, and one egg. And about 150 grams of cancer sugar. So just in the hands and start breaking up the butter and mix it in with the flour and the sugar. You can do this by machine if you want to. But doing it by hands just as quick. You might not need the egg, the eggs there just for back up, like it might be enough there without it. You probably will be. Normally it's just flour, sugar and butter, that's all you need for a sweet pastry. If you want to make it more yeah, richer then you can add some egg yolks to it, like uh, similar to the pot of sucre, the French pot of sucre. So it's coming together now. The yolks a little bit dry, so you need a bit of that egg. sugar, 250 grams of butter and one egg. And there you have it. If you are good with working with sweet pastry, you'll be able to roll that out and line your baking tray like so. But what's best to do is just to wrap this Clean film and refrigerate. So wrap it up. It'll be easier to work with as well when it's chilled. And chill for about an hour. So it'll take so it's been roughly about 30 minutes on the fridge to chill it up a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to work with. A little bit of flour. Grease and flour or bacon tray. The non stick uh, bacon tray will probably suffice, but it's a little bit of grease and a little dust in the flour and that to stop it sticking during the bacon. Enough. You don't have to be absolutely precise, but just enough to start it off. Now, just need to shape it in really. It doesn't have to be perfect, like you're going to press it down anyway. Anyway. 
So just evenly distribute the sweet pastry across the base of your baking tray. And you want to bake this off around about 180 centigrade and that's in a standard oven. If you have a fan oven then reduce that to 160. And you want to bake it for roughly 15 to 16 minutes. This really goes on site to see it. I mean if it's nice, once it's nice and golden brown then that's pretty much ready. It doesn't take much to bake this off right. So a nice and evenly spread out. And fork and just up and down like this just to stop any rising or any bubbles forming. Into the oven for about 15 minutes, 180 centigrade standard, 165. So, roughly about 200 grams of that. Is bang on. So, 200 grams of soft brown sugar or demerara sugar, 200 grams of butter, salt or own salt, it doesn't matter. Dense milk. And two yeah. uh, these are just about 400 grams, so that is a lot of sugar, but that's what turns it. Uh, mix it into toffee and that for your in your shortbreads. And basically all this together in a pan and just keep stirring and stirring. Bring up to the heat. Everything in a pot. So you've got your, your brown sugar, 200 grams of brown sugar, 200 grams of butter, salted or unsalted, and two tins of condensed milk. There we go. Start that off in a slow heat and then gradually bring it up to the boil but you must stir this all the way through until it thickens up to the right consistency. So this is all the, the toffee ingredients combined. So set it off at a, a low heat to start with until all your butter is completely melted and your sugar has dissolved. And once, you get, once it's dissolved and it's completely blended you bring the heat up a little bit and then gradually bring it to the boil. Now this is the kind of mix here, the kind of job that you've got to keep stirring all the way through. You can't leave this because it will just catch and burn because there's that much sugar in the mix. So now it's all completely blended in now. We'll turn the heat up again up to 4. And you've just really just got to stick with this now. Because if you don't, if you leave it, it'll just catch and burn very, very easily. Just combines and makes it a lot smoother and I find it a lot easier to use a whisk. So as you can see, it's getting smoother now, you know. All the sugar starting to break down properly, it's starting to be dissolved. And you have to keep whisking, keep whisking all the time. And once it starts bubbling, it's usually about three to four minutes after that, that's when it's usually about ready. If you want to be completely accurate, you're talking about, I would say a minimum four minutes that you have to keep whisking it once it starts bubbling. Because that way it, it has a nice thickness to it. And when it cools down, it goes completely cold. It's almost like a fudge, a light fudge, and it holds really well. So then you can pour the chocolate on top of it and everything will set just lovely. And when you bite into it, you can, it's just almost like biting into Turkish delight, except it's like a toffee flavor. Turkish delight, absolutely not delicious. Just putting that in now. So I'll just turn the heat off. And that's now ready to pour. Okay, so here we are. We have our caramel ready to pour. Cooling rack. And a palette knife. You better use an inverted palette knife, but my one's down at work just now, that's all I've got. But that'll do. Okay, so we'll get our sweet pastry box so, out. Here we go, just pour it on. You pour it all around. It doesn't matter if it gets down the edges because it's going to set. You see how it's thickening nicely. Now I'll let this toffee settle for about five minutes before I start pouring. It's not crucially important, right? just 
helps it to set better and just spread it all over absolutely delicious this one can't get enough of this, I love this nice and evenly spread it should settle itself as well there we go just give it a little bit of a, of a shake so it settles down nicely and that's it you can put that right in the fridge if you want to let it set or you can leave it out at room temperature to set six and a half a dozen if you want it really quickly put it in the fridge to set and once it's set then melt your chocolate at the right temperature and lay your chocolate on it so here we are ready to ready to pour the chocolate on this is a uh, dark chocolate it's one of the bourbon chocolates so put the chocolate on Spread it over. Notice it's quite thick. It will set quite quickly as well. And I'll try and make it evenly. So we'll spread it out all evenly. Cover the whole area. smaller portions here I'm going to do 48 so that'll be eight across and six down just lightly mark here to give you an idea of your best line carefully score down just take your time do it and there we go sorted there we are and that's the first piece there see the chocolate and see the caramel oh, yeah. just finish off a little white chocolate just for a little bit of decoration Freeze this for up to a month if you want to, or you can put it in the fridge for a week. It will last in a container in room temperature around about four days. <laughs> 